to feel older. Uh, that makes sense. According to the CDC, older Americans should be doing two and a half hours at least of exercise a week. But as our reporter, our health reporter Haley Hernandez tells us this morning, there's one mode of exercise in particular that actually stops the aging process in your cells. I'm taking notes. Everyone knows exercise is important, but as you age, the way you exercise also becomes important. That's what Mayo Clinic researchers found when they studied three groups of people 65 and older. One group did vigorous weight training. Another group did high intensity interval training, cycling hard for four minutes, resting for three. The third group did moderate cycling and weightlifting. After 12 weeks, all three groups improved their overall fitness and decreased their likelihood of developing diabetes. But the group that showed the biggest benefit at the cellular level is the one that did high intensity interval training. They saw a 69% increase in their cells ability to create more proteins that boost energy production and stop the aging process. But interval training was not good for building muscles. So researchers suggest an exercise regimen that includes both. Cycle or run three times a week, then lift weights two days a week. Keep this up as you age and when you feel 70, you won't feel a day over 50. A lot of studies also show that exercise is good for your brain, but specifically the exercises that move your left and right arms and legs across your body, like touching your right knee to your left elbow. This is good because it's working the right and left side of your brain and strengthen the neural pathways that typically deteriorate with age. Haley Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.